Good morning, YouTube Fragrance family. Hopefully you're all smelling well. Uh, welcome to another episode of the Initial Impression. This is where this nose sniffs out a fragrance for the very first time. And I like to shoot it on camera for all of you to see uh, kind of how the journey goes along. Um, initial impressions can be everything. Um, or, you know what? Sometimes in fragrances, with everything, sometimes you need some time with a particular scent to see the magic in the fragrance. So you guys are going to see every step of the way before I actually purchase a bottle or things like that. So we'll see what this set has in store for me. This is one that I'm very, very excited about. And hopefully all of you that clicked on this video are going to stay tuned because I'm excited about this. This is going to be something that hopefully doesn't disappoint me. This is... Um, this particular fragrance, of course, my first time sniffing it. Not only this fragrance, but from this fragrance house. This fragrance house has intrigued me for quite a while, and I wanted to delve into it. And this fragrance right here is the best way to start because I'm excited just because of the name of the fragrance. So let's get into it. The fragrance house is DSH Parfum, and this particular fragrance is called Vanilla Bourbon Intense. <laughs> you sold me with Vanilla Boozy Bourbon and the word intense. You sold me on it. Um, I'm excited about this. Um, this this particular um, sample here is actually a sprayer. Um, I like this. These kind of samples instead of the Lucky Scent one, the Dab one. So this is this is great stuff. Um, this is from actually IndieScents.com, um, a site that I really go to quite often just to discover. Um, a new noses, new fragrance houses, and this is part of the journey. If you're a fragrance head like me, this is what kind of gets my blood boiling and kind of gets me going, gets me excited in this journey, is to discover new fragrance houses just like this, fragrances just like this one. So let's get into it. D DSH uh, Parfum is, uh, the nose behind it is Dawn Spencer Hurwitz. Um, she's actually the owner of DSH, uh, as you can see from um, DSH mean, uh, <clears throat> means her name, so Don Spencer Hurt. This was uh, released back in 2014. It's an oriental fragrance. Um, this is actually from Fragrantica. I like to print these out for initial impressions just to let you guys know about the notes and a little bit about the fragrance. Um, this is actually a limited edition. Uh, fragrance for the 2014 holiday season. Um, I just got this uh, sample a few months ago, so it's still available now, so it's not limited only for last year. Um, now, the notes in this fragrance, this is absolutely appealing. Features amber gris, bitter almond, bourbon vanilla, whiskey, amber, labdanum, tobacco, tonka bean, and a red wine accord. So very, very interesting. The main notes according to your vote. So I like this in Fragrantica just to see what, what the main notes are. As I can see here, vanilla is the top, top dog with tonka bean going second. So we'll see what we got from this one. Um, not too many reviews. If you click on the Fragrantica, I think there's only like one or two reviews on this fragrance. So not very popular as far as reviews go on um, Fragrantica. But that doesn't mean it's not a great fragrance. So let's take a look at it. Let's do an initial spray here. And I'm gonna let you guys know uh, my first impression on this fragrance. Vanilla Bourbon Intense. God, that's a great name. You're gonna sell me on it. So automatically just doing this, not actually smelling it. Uh, I can smell the, the vanilla. It almost has a, um, mm, that, that uh, vanilla extract that I get from, uh, where's my galanese? From this fragrance right here, Spiritus du Bleu Vanille. You know how it has that vanilla extract, that really beautiful um, vanilla. I can smell it off my hand already. I haven't even sniffed it. Um, wow, what a, <laughs> what a gorgeous, oh yeah, <laughs> what a gor what a gorgeous vanilla that is. Um, And I think the amber in here, the crystallized, you know how um, some ambers kind of bring that out, that um, that feeling. You know what this reminds me of? I'm going back in the chamber here, this second one. Um, as you can see, this is not scripted. I'm just, uh, this is what it reminds me of. L'Artisan Parfumeur's um, Havana Vanille. 
this is what this reminds me of. It has that boozy, um, not very, not overly sweet, beautiful vanilla, um, great combo. Not overly boozy though, it has a boozy aspect, but yeah, it's got really good depth to it. Um, bourbon, vanilla, I could smell that. It has that same kind of vanilla that Havana Veni has from El Artisa Um You can really smell the amber. Tonka bean, yeah. This one's exciting. Um, this one, obviously, if you own quite a bit of vanillas, this might not be something that, you know, you're just going to be like, no, I, I'm not going to purchase this. But um, if this stuff's too pricey, Spiritus du Bleveni from Guerlain and um, L'Artisan Parfumeurs, um, this is, you know what, I think it's under 100 bucks for a bottle. For under 100 bucks, one of the best vanillas I've smelled. And this is in the first, like, few minutes here. I'm very intrigued. And excited to kind of see what the development is on this fragrance right now winner um, this is gonna get a high rating from me this is going into stepping into you know your four or five star territory for sampling samples if I'm looking at bottles from one to ten and my full-fledged reviews this is already getting a, a nice nine here it's starting to get it's starting it's starting to get a uh, smoky appeal in here love that I made uh, tobacco eh? Mmm, smoky, ooh, smoky vanilla. This is uh, this is starting to develop very, very nicely. So, <laughs> a really good initial impression. I'm very excited about this uh, particular fragrance. So, um, if this seems like something uh, interesting to you, definitely go get a sample. Go check out DSH Parfum. I love these kind of indie uh, brands coming out with uh, fragrances like this. This is all about the journey you know guys when I first discovered like Nassau Mato and Slumber House you know uh, I got excited with my very first sniff of the fragrance house and this is looking like this might be another one of those houses that just gets me excited so if you love these boozy um, smoky vanilla based sets those that actually have some some depth to them um, this is this is something really interesting to go check out so Please comment below, let let us know, let the fragrance family know if you've ever uh, tested out DSH Parfum fragrances, not this one, if you've tested the whole line or any of them, let us know which ones are jams, which ones, you know, what you feel about the fragrance house, all that good stuff. And if you have smelled vanilla bourbon intense, please comment below, I want to hear your take on it. Um, and as usual, these initial impressions, I'm going to go through this whole sample, I'm going to wear this, I'm going to wear the hell out of this one, I can't wait to test this one out. And you guys are going to get a sampling samples video and I'm going to rate it and all that great stuff in the next coming weeks. So thanks for watching YouTube. I know I haven't been posting quite a bit, um, but I'm happy to be posting today. And I hope this is, this is great content for the channel. Uh, you guys have to go check out this fragrance. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Mm.